Is a complete transformation a good idea for three public housing communities? That's what Norfolk City Council will decide next week. Members will decide if the city should enter an agreement with the Redevelopment and Housing Authority, and that would pave the way for a redevelopment plan for Tidewater Gardens, Young Terrace, and Calvert Square. It would demolish the existing structures and replace them with a blend of single-family homes, carriage houses, townhouses, and apartments. Council member Paul Riddick is calling it gentrification. Is that I don't want this to be a dumping ground for the public housing residents through uh, Section 8 you know, programs and things of that nature. This initiative at its core is about growing opportunity for our residents. And the goals of the initiative to strengthen the neighborhood by deconcentrating poverty, increase self-sufficiency for the residents, and provide access to better education. Coming up at 530, we talk with residents and hear what they'd like to see happen in the St. Paul's area.